Okay, so I'm going to do Capricorn and then Virgo. And maybe I'll get to squeeze it on one video, but we'll see. All right. That's the first one that wanted to come out. To be happy, we must not be too concerned with others. Now, that was coming in at the very end of the Taurus, um, Taurus reading. It was like that. Okay. So, it's kind of like, it feels like a continuation. Okay. Okay. It's all, it always seems impossible until it's done. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. Ooh, grounding. Be happy for this moment. This moment is your life. Yeah, being present, right? Dance like there's nobody's, wa nobody's watching. Okay. I like that one. <laughs> I want to get one more. I'm a positive influence and I surround myself with others like me. Okay. All right, let's get. Now, for some of you, this is like getting quiet to figure out how you're going to bring in this work stuff. Now, others of you, there was somebody that caught your eye. And you think they're your match. Hmm. But some drama unfolded in, in one of your relationships, so that was the thing that uh, you were trying to avoid here, to repeat, not repeat that. Okay. Now, I feel like your person of interest did have a heartbreak. Was that the Leo? This is on the side, and I don't know what that is because this deck has extra cards. Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's like feeling like that person's going to shut you down. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. Okay, let's see what the book says. Seven of Laurels. Yeah, feeling like it's going to be unfruitful. And someone with a fruit hat came up in one of the other readings I did today. And that that there was that in the background lurking. Okay. So is is there any wisdom to that? <laughs> Knocked it down. <laughs> okay yeah it's like you're trying to look at it from all angles okay so that's not a lot of doing energy okay that's like not moving okay Yeah, too much thinking. Now I feel like that's caused them to be in their head too. Okay. And it's like it's like that one is flirt what I want okay, that one is flirty. It's not just flirty, it's like outright comfortable with their sexuality, so it's just like out there. And 
that is like a siren to, um, it's like a siren call for men. So that's why you fear uh, for whoever this is uh, to take those moves. And you're trying to look at it from a strategic point. It's like, but you're overthinking it. Okay. And you can't stop thinking about it. That's the thing, because you know you have that call. Okay, and here's the Queen of Laurels. Let's read that one. This is someone who brings in money. But there's a little bunny on the corner here, so. That's like moon energy. But why do I feel fire? Okay, let's see. Is that your passion burning? Queen of Laurels. Motherly and independent. Yeah, and probably even fierce sometimes. Someone who can make a uh, comfortable home, who is also grounded and has common sense as well as business uh, sense. Okay. Successful leader. And is good at being a mother and a leader. So it's someone who has children or a child and uh, knows their worth. Okay. Now, they're willing to give it a go with you if you would be more bold. It's like that balance, you know, is coming up again. It's like not too forceful, but um, but putting yourself out there. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like they just see you as playing it cool. And sometimes you even wonder if they're on the same team for someone. Okay. Now, if they're not on the same team, okay, uh, if they're on the different team, what I'm getting is this is a friend, a close friend, and they spend a lot of time together, If even if there's nothing, you know, if it's just platonic. Okay. But it could be just a work thing. It's like, you know what I'm getting? Like throwing these sticky darts, balls, and seeing what sticks. Okay, so they could help each other with work or something. But there is a potential for you to um, come together. Oh, oh my gosh, this card came out for the... um. Taurus. So for some of you, you might be interested in a Taurus or a Scorpio. Pisces also came up too. So water or earth. Okay. So be open to the invitations that come because here's the four of wands. And it looks like someone's catching the bouquet here. I'm getting that this one is the Empress, but she plays a youthful role, like she's real youthful and playful, okay, and she might even like to change her looks, that's what I'm getting. It's like, come to my Emerald City, I dare you, that kind of uh, energy. Yeah, and this was that card. It was feeling like home. This is saying they do have a daughter for someone. Okay. Wow. See, that is amazing how that happens. They got the full card too. A, a new beginning here. Zero point. Anything can, is possible. Oh my God, and ten of cups. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, th this, okay. This one has been with all kinds of uh, people and from different backgrounds and cultures. And so this one is, I want to say seasoned <laughs> and is willing and open to uh, your suggestions. Okay. Now maybe that's why it, it seems unapproachable is uh, there, are they famous? That's what I'm getting. But uh, you are sure to succeed. That's what I keep getting. I'm going to leave you with that.